Hello. Tonight you're going to make a foldable. Um, you're going to continue on the one that we made today in class from two pieces of loose leaf paper and a piece of colored paper. You're going to also need the strip of guided notes, some glue, a pencil, earbuds, and a pair of scissors. When you're finally done, you're going to glue this on page eight of your big fat notebook. So this is what your foldable will look like when it is all done. So your colored paper is on top. Then you folded the two pieces of loose leaf paper. And so remember, we fold one and then the next and then the next. So it makes this um, like rainfall of um, different sections. You're going to label the left side GCF, the first flap clues GCF, problem GCF, factor tree GCF, ladder GCF, and my own example GCF. And on the right, LCM, clues LCM, problem LCM, factor tree. LCM, list LCM, and my own example, LCM. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take this piece of paper here. And so you got a little piece of paper today in class. It's got four sections. And you are going to glue this piece of paper. If it is a GCF problem, you are going to glue it right here under clues. So you're going to lift this flap. And underneath it, you are going to glue down this little piece of paper. The second thing you're going to do is you are going to take this little piece of paper and you are going to glue it underneath the clues section. So it'll be right there underneath the colored paper, but on top of where it says clues. So you can see here it says same time. So that's going to be right there. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to take this piece of paper, which says GCF example, and you're going to glue it here. So you're going to lift this flap where it says clues, and underneath that, you're going to glue the, this paper that says GCF example. And then the last thing you're going to glue is going to be this little piece of paper. And you are going to lift the clues flap, and you are going to glue this on the problem flap. So that's the startup part of the problem the process. All right. So the next thing you're going to do is we are going to be working on the flap called factor tree. So you are going to pick up the GCF clues and problem flaps and lay them all open. And you're going to do all your work in this space that's underneath those where it says factor tree. So let's look at your notes. It says, if it's a GCF problem, this is how you can figure out if it's a GCF problem or not. When you look at the problem, they're asking you to split things into smaller parts. Or are we trying to figure out how many people we can invite? Or are we trying to arrange something into rows or groups? So let's look at the problem. The problem says Samantha has two pieces of cloth. One piece is 72 inches wide, and the other is 90 inches wide. She wants to cut both pieces into strips of equal width so that they are as wide as possible. How wide should she cut the strips? So if I look at my hints over here to the left, and I'm trying to figure out what kind of a problem this is. If I didn't know it was a GCF example, and I look, how wide should she cut the strips? That's when we're trying to split things into smaller sections. So the first example we're going to do, the first way to solve a GCF problem we're going to do is a factor tree. So what you're going to do is you are going to um, make a factor tree which is what you practiced last night, for both numbers. So you're going to make a factor tree for 72, and you're going to make a factor tree for 90. So if you'll recall, for a tree, we take the two numbers, 72 and 90, and then we think of what are numbers that would divide into it. So 72 is 8 times 9. Neither of those is prime, so I continue. 2 times 4, 3 times 3, since um, 3 3 and 2 are all prime. I circle those. And then 4 is 2 times 2. So the prime factorization of 72 is 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 3. Now I'm going to look at 90. 90 is 10 times 9. And then that is 3 times 3 and 2 times 5. So the prime factorization of 90 is 2 times 3 times 3 times 5. So when you're looking for the greatest common factor, the greatest common factor is the biggest number that will divide into 
both or all the numbers. So please write that down. So go up to um, greatest common factor or problem or clues or something and write that down. That the greatest common factor is the biggest, aka greatest, number that will divide into both or all of the numbers in the problem without a remainder. So greatest common factor is the biggest number that will divide into all of the numbers in the problem without a remainder. So let's look at what we've got here. So when I lined up my prime factorizations, I'm going to circle the things that these two lists have in common. So I say that they have a 2 and a 2. I say that they have a 3 and a 3. And I say that they have a 3 and a 3. So the numbers that they have in common are 2, 3, and 3. So you only look at one group of what you have circled. So 2 times 3 times 3 is the GCF of this problem. So if I look at the problem and I look at 72 and 90, the biggest number that will divide into both of them is 18. So how wide should her strips be? 18 inches. All right, so let's look at the other way we can solve a GCF problem. I actually prefer this next way. So um, let's skip to the GCF. All right, so here we are with the GCF problem. And so I'm going to look at this, and I'm going to use the ladder. So same thing. I'm looking if I can divide it into smaller sections, how wide should she cut her strips? So you remember from Euclid's ladder that they, we put the number into the ladder and then we drew an L around it. Well, the cool thing about GCF when you do this is you put both numbers or all the numbers if you had like three or four or five of them in the ladder. And then remember we need to divide by a prime till we get a prime. So when I look at 72 and 90, I see that they're both even. So I put a 2. And 72 divided by 2, that's 36. And 90 divided by 2, that's 45. All right, so now I look at both of these numbers, and I have to divide by a prime till I get a prime. 2 won't go into both, but 3 will. So 36 divided by 6, 3 rather, is 12, and that would give me 15. If I look at 12 and 15, uh, I can divide those by 3. So that would give me 4 and 5. So I am done because there are no common numbers that will go into it. Here is my GCF over here. So that's my GCF, and remember these are factors, so I need to multiply them. So 2 times 3 times 3, and that's 18 inches. And then the interesting thing about using the ladder is I can divide my strips into 18 inches, and I will get 4 strips of this one color and 5 strips of the other color. That's why I really like this ladder. So I see that I can cut it into 18 inch sections and then it tells me how many of each kind I can get. And then I could say, well, how many strips would I have in all? I would have nine strips. So I think that that's really a good way to um, solve this kind of problem, but you can use the tree if you prefer that. So the question was, how wide should she cut the strips? That would be 18 inches. And then I, you could also answer, like I said before, um, she could get four of this one kind and five of the other kind which would be helpful to know if you were doing something with them. So that's the left-hand side. That's the factor tree and ladder. So you've got all that information written down. And now we're going to go back and look at the right-hand side. So the right-hand side is LCM. And so for LCM, I am going to look at my LCM example. So it says, um, if it's an LCM problem, do we have something that's going to happen again and again and again? Um, will we have to buy something or multiple things to have enough? Are we trying to figure out when something will happen at the same time? So it says that Ben exercises 12 days and Isabel exercises every 8 days. Ben and Isabel both exercise today. How many days will it be until they exercise together again? So you start the same way. You make your two trees. So we've got 12 and we've got 8. And we factor them. So we have 3 times 4. Circle the 3. 2 times 2, 
And then 8, we have 2 times 4, circle the 2, and then 2 times 2. So the difference with this and what we did earlier, so so far it's exactly the same. We've made our tree, we're good to go. I write out my um, prime factorizations. Okay, whoops, this is wrong. Let me change that. Because remember, we always have to go in ascending order, so that goes there. All right, so, all right, so there's my prime factorization. And I see that I have 2 and 2. So the greatest common factor for this pet pair of numbers is 4, because 2 times 2 is 4. But here's the interesting thing. When you do least common multiple, we're going to take the greatest common factor, which was 4, and multiply it also by the scraps, which would be the 2 and the 3. So I'm going to multiply also by that 2 and also by that 3. And so the first day that this, these people would be exercising again would be the 24th day. So it says, how many days will it be till they exercise again? That would be the 24th day. Um, the other way to do it is by doing a list. And so um, let's look at using those numbers again for a list. So I'm going to put 12 for Ben and 8 for Isabel. And when you use the list, you pick the number that's the greatest. So I'm going to choose 12. And I am going to list the multiples of 12, the multiplication tables of 12. So 12. 24, 36, 48. I just count by 12s. And now I'm going to take my smaller number and I'm going to see if the smaller number can divide evenly into the greater number. So does 8 divide evenly into 12? No. Does 8 divide evenly into 24? Yes. So that's your answer. That's the first time that they will both be able to exercise together again. Remember when you're doing the list, you want to choose the greatest number first and list them out. All right, so that is it for your notes for tonight. Make sure that yours looks close to what mine looks like. Remember, all of your work is underneath these flaps. So underneath here, you've got all your factor tree stuff. Underneath here, you've got all your LCM stuff and so forth. Thanks a lot. Have a great night.